for many years the focus has been primarily on the, uh, the physical elements of domestic abuse and what the new legislation does is it not only recognises the physical elements but also the coercive and controlling behaviour, the psychological abuse that can very often be the course of behaviour that is experienced by those who are victims of domestic abuse and that's a fundamental change in our approach to dealing with this whole issue. It will mean that Scotland is sending a message to perpetrators that says this is not on, this is now illegal and we will prosecute you for it. The additional £165,000 of funding that I'm making available to Scottish Women's Aid is to allow them to train their staff right across the country because they're at the point where they're working with the victims of domestic abuse and it's important that they have a good detailed understanding of how the new legislation will operate. We're really excited to have this funding because uh, it will allow us to do a training for trainers, so a core of eight trainers who will then be available in communities to work with violence against women partnerships, health boards, all of the, the local public services that need to understand course of control and the new bill.